the fun thing that we had to talk about today is side-by-side -side setups and fighting games now if you don't know what i'm talking about let's say we we're playing on this machine i would play here another person would be sitting here it would be side by side as opposed to head-to-head -head setups where like i play here you would play on the other side of a monitor the players are not next to each other you can't see anything i don't know how y'all can play offline events side by side and think it's fair some players i can legit see them mashing dp and super out of the corner of my eye what am i gonna do ignore it if you've never been to an offline tournament this is a wake-up call if you haven't seen all the pictures of people playing side by side where Xiao Hai has a box to literally hide his inputs this is literally strat this is like a real thing because when you're sitting side by side to someone and you see them wiggling a joystick when they're knocked down they're probably gonna wake up with a reversal of some kind which means you probably want to block and then them not being able to see your hands eliminates some of the guesswork this is like obviously this is an old picture this is from like kof evo 2012 13 something like that right this is a classic look playing with a blanket on his lap so that you can't see what buttons he's hitting you guys don't want to know what this clip looks like 10a quoted it and said someone hasn't gotten fake bursted by norcal players yet and zedadiah says the amount of times i've been tricked into dropping my combo by apology man there's no way to make pressing fight stick buttons illegal either i actually learned this from tokido over 10 years ago fighting tokido 10 years ago i was doing a combo on the second blaze and hit three buttons on his stick hard and it's four to burst i reacted unconsciously and dropped my combo and he won the set and then won the tournament and he said i've been using audio to affect the opponent ever since that's the thing right is like fake bursting or fake hitting buttons or fake doing reversals is a really common part of tournaments i was once shocked that apology man or two gigabyte combo could react to a mix-up and it turns out they could hear him air dashing on the stick hilarious like this is a hilarious part about offline games but this is something you don't know if you've never played offline before i went to play killer instinct on offline for the first time and when i played against alex Vai in a side-by-side -side setup not only was he elbowing me when he was playing the game because he sits so close and he's got these like old man arcade elbows where he just elbows you for space and uh, subconsciously it's in his dna but he would mash fake breakers all the time in ki and then not break the combo and then you would counter break and then he would punish you i learned to completely ignore both the physical elbowing and also the buttons that he was hitting right but then i implemented the same thing what i would do when i played ki is i made my last two buttons on my controller completely empty right there was nothing going on there there was no buttons or anything and i would just mash them like i was gonna break super so there are supers in the game to break them you just have to mash like do, do 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 like really quickly there's no timing involved i would just start mashing during the like the slowdown the super freeze and like obviously because i'm just mashing the breaker the other person they would just counter break and i would be doing nothing like my buttons would just be empty i mean side by side setups the dark arts around them are so real sometimes literally dark arts i sat next to someone in tournament who was so smelly before that i like couldn't play the game it was so hard to focus on the game with this like vomit inducing stench just hitting you this is like a decade ago now if you smelled that bad at a tournament i think they would tell you to leave or they'd be like hey you need to go shower or something but yeah it was so bad i literally like couldn't think all i could think the whole time is i can't wait for this set to be over so i don't have to smell this anymore but all these examples exist for a reason even olsan made a tweet this is before this by the way i think these big body moves are unfavorable during side-by-side -side tournaments i want to find the solution at tiger uppercut so what olsan is saying basically right is when he's doing running twos with dragon off you see how his whole body he leans into it right it like takes his whole body to do this move there's a big tell when he wants to do this move because in side by side tournaments you can just see that he's gonna do it maybe i'll use this for side by side tournaments which is just like you know something to cover your movements and your body and stuff he literally was like oh that's a good idea right if you never experienced it you probably think it's probably not that bad if you never had it happen to you you probably don't know how disruptive it is because when you hear it the first time you have to learn to like subconsciously not think about it or not notice it because it's so easy out of the corner of your eye to notice or think about what your opponent's doing alter your game plan because of it right it's like really really easy to do it like your brain you're like i don't want to listen to their buttons but i hear them and uh, my body is making a decision around them it's like really hard that's why 
a lot of people will put on headphones and like you know use headphones so you don't hear it it's why some people prefer not to play side by side some players are way better at side by side because they can play the mind games really well and maybe their characters are better for it or whatever and some people are way better at head to head where you eliminate all of that and you just play the game in the most like neutral environment it's not against the rules for me my eyeballs to look down at what they're doing right like it's like what i could just I do it anytime this is the environment that you game in you have implied information when you knock down a grappler and you hear them churning you think oh he's gonna 720 on wake up i'll jump and then he jumps and does air spd or something and you're like oh no like you've been, you've engaged right you parlayed and like listen if you heard him churning and you jumped and he 720 and you won you would be thinking oh like i heard his churning on the best i win but when you use that information to your detriment suddenly it's like well he's cheating because <laughs> you know like it's it the whole thing is just it's all a mind game you either agree to play into it by like focusing in on it and honing in on it or you completely ignore it and you try to play your game without ever thinking about it you know or you play leverless where like all the movement and all the dashing and all the mashing and everything sounds the same like all the buttons are buttons so it's hard to tell what's like you hitting any kind of buttons but even on that you can start drumming stuff like you're going to reversal or you know there's like ways to make it sound like you're going to do something if you have the time and money and resources then eliminating that part is probably the best for the competitive part of the video game. Not all events are like that. And usually they're sharing a stage, right? So it, it makes the, the most sense to do it side by side. If you haven't played side by side in a while, or if you've never played side by side, this shit is a lot. Like it's a lot to deal with. I think if you're not about that life, if you're not about that warfare, don't even try. You got to just headphones on lock in blinders don't worry about anything you know no one is out mind gaming apology man stick on stage the worst part is he does that shit in casuals he fake bursts like round one fight and you're just like dude we just sat down but he's been doing it a long time and marvel is a game where you can do a lot of that too he calls himself apology man because he is sorry only a little bit <laughs>